Today we are going to see about site code personalization. This is Sadish Kumar from SK Tech YouTube channel. Uh, before going to the topic, I am just reiterating one message. Please subscribe the channel and then only whatever the new video I am posting will reach you automatically. Let us into the topic. Uh, basically, personalization is uh, showing a relevant content to the targeted audience. Okay. Uh, there is an example if you for example flipkart or amazon site if you browse if you constantly weaving about the smartphones then on the next visit you will be you will be getting a suggestion about the smartphone you will get alerts and suggestion about the smartphone this is an example of personalizations okay based on some uh, rules some set of rules uh, we can show or hide uh, certain components we can show or hide certain things okay this is the example of personalization. So, uh, what the targeted audience need? So, we are providing as option for them. So, uh, that is uh, one of the marketing feature available in marketing secret uh, hidden in personalization. So, those who are in need, they can get okay, okay, what they browse most frequently, whether they are we from a specific region, for them we provide some specific content. We show some different content for a different region or based on their uh, activity in the site we can personalize we can show a different content so this thing can be achievable in personalization okay let me show you a demo so that uh, you understand how to implement personalization i will also explain what are the current features of personalization by default available in site code 9 let us into the demo Today I am going to show a demo of how to do personalization and uh, what are the features in it. I will explain what are the actions and the rules present in the personalization, how to achieve personalization. I will finally I will show a demo with a simple example uh, okay, uh, so that uh, you will get understanding how can uh, this be in real time we can implement personalization. So this is a home item, uh, I am just previewing it. So this is the content, okay. This is a sample content where uh, this, this this is from some sample rendering, okay. Uh, let me go to the presentation. I will explain how to personal how to do personalization and its features. So if you go to final layout, you can click edit, and you controls, uh, click that rendering. You will see personalize uh, button, okay. If you click that. You can do uh, by default, it always be show. So uh, there are uh, show on high. So, okay, for any rendering by default, it should be show. So, if you want to add a rule based on that, you can customize based on a condition. We can click this uh, add personalization rule. So, you can give some sample, may, maybe you can give sample rule. Okay, and there are some edit tool options available. There are two persons show or hide this rendering. So, uh, by default it's showing rendering so uh, just uh, you can uh, toggle between this rendering so if you edit rule you will find a lot of rules okay when this condition matches then you can show or hide that particular rendering okay there are a lot of predefined rules based on campaign you can select predefined rule when predefined rule is true uh, and based on the channel channel group channel type on the date, current date has passed, and the current day of the month compared to number, current day of the week, current month is uh, month. Okay, you can specify the rules. Okay, I will show you a simple demo. Uh, before that, I will explain what are the actions available, what are the rules available, which when the, the, the this condition matches, the particular show or hide action will be executed. Okay, so. This is based on the device HTML or JavaScript devices bought. Okay. Uh, based on the operating system, also you can specify uh, whether for a particular operating system you can show some component. Uh, uh, likewise, for a particular hardware model, also you can just uh, show a component. So, in depth personalization rules are by default, it's already available. Still, you can add a personalization, you can create a own, own rule. Okay. During customization, you can create a own rule. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, 
hardware screen kite device vendor hardware screens okay there are some fees based on the field specific field compared to value with the field values empty or compared to uh, uh, specific values and geo ip uh, based on your current location you can do personalizations area code business name city country dns address so this is geo, uh, using ip address specifically you can compare uh, this is important current city or current country you can uh, personalize this is very important for if you want to show a component that is specific to your particular city or a country then you can personalize here by default it's already available okay if you want to create a own action rule then you can also create okay you need to call you need to create a existing uh, action template and you need to create item based on that it will work okay and there are other that is separate that is uh, customizing the rules okay and postcode based on where the postcode is compared to specific value region metro current metro even you can compare the long latitude and the longitude okay based on that you can toggle something okay uh, item hierarchy okay there are uh, there are based on the item current item and its hierarchy compared to the path item parameter value parameter template everything you can compare okay, okay. this uh, item id item name item template based on the item version okay uh, some few of the marketing automation stops where the particular user what they are doing during the period campaign period based on that you can uh, do personalization okay uh, you can you can show or hide a component nothing but show or hide a component security uh, when the user is anonymous user or uh, user domain is compared to specific value the current user compared to specific value Okay. Uh, where the value specific numeric field in the user for while compared to a number. So this uh, site code query you can still execute a site code query where the result of the expression query exists. So you click that you can expression you can execute the query. Okay, you can you can queue the query so that uh, it will be executed. If execute it will be batch the rule. Okay. Similarly, uh, there are other rules regarding systems. Okay. Are calling a specific script conditions, contest search feature, current domain compared to value, item bucket feature is enabled for the particular item. Then you can personalize. If the current item is a bucketable item, then you can show different components. Okay. So these are the some uh, rules. Whether the tracking is enabled for analytics, tracking is enabled uh, on that on the specific. Uh, 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 core instance, the tracking is enabled, then we can show some personalized content. Okay, and current interaction, uh, current interaction venue. Okay, and visit. This is uh, based on the goals uh, that are used. Particular visit, previous visit, and particular goal trigger that value you can compare. Okay, and there are others where where the specific. Uh, uh, page has been visited during the current visits. This are from analytical side. You enable the analytic, then you can able to do this this kind of uh, uh, execute this kind of action and compare the values. Okay, traffic, the traffic type, everything you can compare. Okay. Okay. When I mean, if the XDB is enabled, also you can uh, do uh, show or data component. Now. I am showing you a simple example where um, by default I am uh, hiding the component and default I am clicking hide but at, uh, I am editing a rule so for, for the simplest uh, I am selecting whether the current day of the week okay so now today is a Saturday so day of the week first I am selecting uh, Sunday okay Sunday is selected, the condition fails, okay. Normally the uh, today is a Saturday, the condition fails, I am showing the component, okay. This is my conditions. I previously shown how the normal behavior will work, okay. So see, I am saving, so for my, uh, just I am just publishing it, okay. I publish the content. So I am just browsing the uh, this uh, item. 
now let us see by default it is high and current condition not matches so not matches only it will show the component The, com the component is not visible because current today is a Saturday, I selected Sunday. So the component hidden. By default it hidden and the condition that is not match, it doesn't show the value. So the component, okay. Now let us see, uh, I'm changing the condition, okay. Go to the presentation details, this item, uh, I am editing the condition. Okay, um, let me personalize. Then I'm editing this rule, the tool. Okay, I'm I'm changing this Sunday to Saturday. Saturday. Okay, now the condition is when the current day is one of Saturday. This condition all uh, today it is true. Now let us see how this will begin. Okay, now I check the show here. Okay, so now see what happens save let me publish this item okay publishing then so i am just browsing the item Now see the component is visible, clearly visible. The component has the condition matches and it shows the component. This is a simple example of personalization, how to do personalization by simply selecting the rules. Okay. There are a lot of rules available in site code 9 and site code 10 and use the predefined rules. Okay. Uh, as I as I shown uh, previously, you can even customize that rule. You can create a own rule using a platform code. You can override that rule and you can create a own rule. You can add a new rule based on the condition. Okay, there are a lot of pay different tools. Uh, my preference is uh, my one of the what got I I personally uh, wondered about this personalization is the geo based rule application that is very useful. So you can show a different different component for a different different countries. So that is uh, one of the best uh, uh, best part in personalization. Okay, by simply just selecting a rule, you can just customize it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel. Then only whatever the new video I am posting will reach you automatically. This is Arish Kumar signing off. Thank you guys. Good luck. Bye bye.